Yo, what's up guys? My name is Blackybeer and today I want to do a update on my account basically. Uh, last time I recorded uh, TOA50 hard and I did my divine scroll on there and all that but the video got corrupted so I couldn't really uh, show you guys. Um, first of all new patch came out we have some new stuff the kingdom passes back which is amazing um, if you have any uh, <clears throat> money to spare you can definitely buy this it's really good it has a lot of good value uh, it's it's probably a, probably the best buy for your uh, buck um, also drop rate freed is up so we're gonna try to get him because freed is uh, one amazing unit so this is a new event that's coming out uh, on the 1st of uh, the next month till the 12th and it's great. You get LND legendary skill fairies, uh, we get a skill fairy rift that we have to do, we get uh, gems, what? we get um, what you call them, um, XP fairies but not the XP fairies, the, the, the upgrade fairies, whatever they're called, those uh, bunnies. Uh, so this is the 50 day anniversary special login event and it's amazing and it's super simple so I'm excited that they do this this is pretty much uh, giving us even more free stuff so we can keep on playing and keep enjoying this game so make sure that you log in every day from 10 1 till 10 12 because that's uh, easy loot and talk about my current um, Progression. So what I did is I rerun my account on free rune removal, right? And I thought about like, oh, I'm gonna make a sealed armory speed team. And it worked. I mean, I got a sealed armory speed team, but it wasn't reliable at all. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, what my idea was. So I built Medi up, and my idea was the following: um, to speed nuke him, I needed to get Medea in there and then I had Morgan as one of the units this was the first setup I tried and it worked like a charm the first time the second time and then not anymore I got a bad feeling and about I this. think I know the issue what I did is make my apothecary of Apophis <coughs> Apophis Apophol whatever his name is the fastest and I don't think that's bad, but the reason why this is not great is that he will move and his skill will not be up. Although I think in this specific dungeon it's not a problem, but I think it's actually a problem in the other dungeon. But you'll have to wait and see how it turns out. I mean, the run can be fast and good, but most likely you will notice that it's not going to work as well. This is perfect. I get the slow on the boss first turn. Doesn't always happen. Let's see if we can make it all the way through the end. Also noticing that Media is just a little bit too slow because she's not moving before the rest. Um, now I take some, again I put a slow on him, that's actually pretty good. But as you can see his skill is still not up. Um, it's up now so it's, it's not bad, it's pretty decent. So far the run is actually not going so terrible. Let's see if Medea can take a heavy hit. No, he's still not able to hit him. So he moved secondly, and now the next time he goes, I'm pretty much dead, right? So I have to see if I can finish him in time. Lethal Blade, AoE, another AoE, and he should die. So this is how it's supposed to go. However, in auto battle it doesn't happen like this so we get the win very nice I, I had this on the, the, the day as well and um, it's 117 is my best and this was 128 so I thought nice I got my team I tried it like two or three times and it worked like a charm but the issue is that uh, apothecary and stuff do not always move into the right position so there's a few ways that I can try to fix this. Um, I could, for for this specific dungeon, I could fix it maybe by just 
getting media going faster because she doesn't move in time and she's actually an attack age uh, reducer she's now heavily built on dps as you can see but she's super slow i really like her build but maybe i should run this on on a speed slot and that could maybe fix that run but i really like her overall stats you know she's a very strong unit i think she's she's great for um for that but i don't know if i have a speed run on this to begin with yeah i got one bad one <laughs> um so maybe i have one on other unit but yeah the damage she puts out is insane but she doesn't move so that that's an issue so that's a way i thought maybe i can fix it but i kind of like her the way she is uh, but that might be a good idea the other idea is to slow down a potive a possess what the What's freaking hell is your name apophis 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 and i made him super fast the reason why i made him fast because i was thinking okay if this goes first i have a chance of getting um heavy damage in on the first wave and then when i go to the boss stage it should be ready pretty soon but the, it's a four turn cooldown which is very long um and it's also an issue in, in uh, the speed run for Fafnir because I also tried to speed run Fafnir and that's a bit more reliable I must say but it's not 100% and I want it to be 100% so the way I thought about this one was pretty similar the only difference was um, that I used um, Tia to get some extra dots I mean it, it's a bit of a mixture uh, build because Tia is basically there for the dots and these two are there for um, the AoE damage but this team is actually doing uh, more reliable runs but once again um, because of Apophis is so fast he moves first but he is not having his cooldown back up so right now this is nice because I can kill those two units relatively fast and Esperanza will take out one or two, depending on where she stands. Okay, just one. So close. And then she will move in pretty good, right? This is all good. I don't dislike this. This is not a bad thing. So this is first wave very quick click. So second wave, now I have three more turns to wait. And then, for example, what you see that he did now, it does that so often that he just uses his second skill when the boss doesn't even have dots or anything and that's really bad <laughs> so um, my media is not moving uh, until now and now we're starting to slow him so that's okay but uh, yeah I feel like I'm too fast for my own good also I don't understand the, the AI why did for example Esperanza did not her did not do her last attack instead or this she just is her main attack it's weird she could do two turns instead she chooses not to but okay so still we're going still we're not doing bad to be honest we get the armor break on now which is nice but now he dies as well could fix that by making him more, a bit more tanky obviously and as you can see I'm, I'm killing the boss relatively decently fast but um it's not i don't have a heal block in this team so sometimes he does heal up and there's there's problems with this team <laughs> there are problems with this team it's not 100 percent reliable it's actually it's fast if it works like this was a decent run not the best run but a decent run but if we look at this team right now what did we do what is the speed uh, let's keep it it was 144 and I got up to 118 with the same team but the, I don't know it's not the way I wanted to and in, in this I mean the runs are good don't get me wrong but they're not reliable enough I need them to be 100% reliable or at least 98% reliable <laughs> especially Fafnir because that's uh, that's not that uh, too difficult to do so what I thought if I just predict win, it's reliable. And it's true, but it, the, the, the team, if I do it like that, 
it's just a bit slow. So yeah, this this works and uh, will not be terribly slow, but it will be a little bit slow. So that's also in a, something I need to work on. But now let's get into what all my account has been getting while I was summoning for my divine floor 50 T-Way heart. So I can maybe show you guys the Tower of Arrogance because I think they're still still not done. Um, rank. Yeah. As you can see, I got rank 3.1 rank 118 um, I can't really show you up here because it's not shown uh, to that low I believe it's yeah see but floor 50 this is floor 50 I didn't clear 51 but I cleared floor 50 um, sadly I don't have the the recording because it was stuck but all in all it was um, a grind and I got the divine scroll and I summoned it and I got a new unit and I was very happy that I got a new unit. It wasn't the unit I was searching for, but it was great. <laughs> it was Raphael. There we go, Raphael. And I think he's actually useful. Um, maybe not now as a direct unit because he has a very specific uh, skill kit. But he he's not bad, definitely not. He also has the option to get an extra attack when I can drop someone below 50%. That's really good. And I also like this one um, that he successfully crits removes a buff. And here success crits removes attack gates, which is also good. Uh, recovers attack gates, so he speeds up the team. It's overall, I think it's a great unit. Um, he just needs high stats to work. Also... I got the login uh, of the guild. We got Lakshmi, and oh my god, she seems amazing. So, if you look at her skills, her first skill is a slow, reduce speed, and increase speed of your own, so she gets faster. The second skill is increase defense and recovery, so it's basically the same as Vivian, successfully removing all debuffs, so it is a Vivian skill which is pretty amazing. It's on a long cooldown, I do agree, but still. And then her passive, or sorry, her passive, her uh, third skill, pretty much gives a turn to a unit, which is on 3 to Kurgun, and they get an additional turn, or they get the turn, with an attack buff and immunity, debuff immunity. So basically they clear, get a cleanse and, and they go. That's really nice. And then the passive is also pretty cool. It recovers 3% of LA max HP. Um, that's uh, pretty good, I would say. And I like it. I mean, this passive can go up to 6%, which is 3% is a bit low, but 6 is getting there. This can add up to two more de uh, defense buffs, which is also pretty strong, and reduce the cooldown to four turns. And this is not super effective, but the uh, level 5 effect duration plus 1, which is amazing. I mean, that means double slow and speed. Ah, she is amazing. She will be my missing link. Um, I thought she would be my link, missing link for a sealed armory, a uh, very reliable sealed armory team. However, freed drop rate is up. And if you look up any team that is a speed team for sealed armory, it is with Freed. Reason being, I, I looked Freed up. First of all, Freed is a damage dealer, right? So, makes sense. But Freed has a main first skill of slow, reduce mobility. That's what you need. You need to reduce mobility on that boss as soon as you can. Uh, where do we go? Collection. And then we go to water and then we go to freed so this is the reason he is actually so good for that dungeon obviously the defense break has a great uh, added bonus and obviously uh, that that he buffs himself with crit and attack is all good and stuff um, 
So, so yeah, yeah, sure, but it's this skill, Ice Bolt. Overall, it's a great unit to have, so I'm going to summon for that one, for sure. So, we got all that. And we got L Lakshmi. I'm really thinking of max killing her out, actually. Um, so, what I'm planning to do is to reinvent my teams. Again, I mean, you saw my teams. I think they're pretty decent, but they're not reliable enough. And it has to be reliable. So, I will reinvent those. And then I come back to the dungeons and have good teams. But I think I will try to pull Freed and use him. And I will... Uh, probably uh, get Mary as well so I only need one more unit so if we go to summon and then to pieces I believe oh no to combine sorry I'm working of getting Mary because I only need Lancelot but I haven't got her yet but Lancelot is I'm gonna get that pretty soon 